What's good, Blaze Up Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jared. Y'all, <clears throat> today we're going to be doing a video from Jeremy Hill. Shout out to the brother who stays, who stays, keep me on, on track. And thank you guys for letting me know about the previous video I did with him. And I'm praying that this video doesn't get flagged for copyrighted, copyrighted music. But today we're going to be doing a video and, um,. He basically covers why a lot of black women, a lot of black men date outside the race. Always complain about men dating outside their race and always claim that men don't, well, especially black men in particular, don't want black women in particular. So I'm going to go over this a little bit and I want you to hear the first clip. We got, we're going to unpack some things right quick. One second as I get it up on your screen. Now dig this before you dig that so it can get done. I recently went to an event and there were about a thousand people there. And of the couples that were there, about 95% of them were black men with non-black women. The person leading the event was a black man that was married to a white woman. I'd be lying if I said that seeing all of this at the same time was not triggering. This is pretty much what the dating scene looks like overall in LA. I've said it before. Now here it is. If you see a, a lot of, see one thing, most men of color, desire to marry within their own racial demographic. Now, every man has their own preference. If he chooses to date outside his race, that's okay. But I wanna put something in your ear. The majority of the time that men are choosing white women or any other ethnic group over black women, if he is black, nowadays, it's because of the treatment that black men are receiving from the black woman. Black men, are tired of dealing with the attitudes black men are tired of dealing with you being overweight black men are tired of you draining their energy black men are tired of you telling them that you do not want them black men are tired of having to try to force his ability to lead you upon you so we go where we are wanted celebrated respected and loved we want to go where we are admired excuse me we want to go where we are admired unfortunately the american black woman now in the west lack that ability they do not have the ability to please men at all they don't the thing about this is this i believe that a lot of women they refuse to actually understand they know they understand they refuse to accept the reason why black men are dating out see because if we as black men stayed in this hellscape that we call a community it didn't date out nothing would change now that black men are starting to date out they're starting to see that other races of women want black men and it's forcing them to get that reality check that they've been needing for decades now When a black man has to constantly come home and basically argues, argue with you about the smallest shit, it becomes a it becomes a job at the end of the day. It becomes it becomes a job that he has to come home to, and men don't want to have to come to a job right after right after he just got off working a. A job for 10, 12, 15 hours. It's becoming a chore. They don't know how to make a man's ego feel good. All black American women, in my most humble opinion, all they know is if they want to make a man feel good, sleep with him. They don't want to feed him by cooking. They don't want to clean up his house. They don't want to do anything that a man really want a woman to do. So now, most men who are becoming passport bros, 
I think women think when a man becomes a passport bro, it's because he's looking for a white woman or someone who doesn't share his shade of color. There are a lot of black men who are passport bros who are still seeking black women. He just doesn't want a black woman that comes from the West because of the westernized mentality. It's a dog eat dog world when you deal with an American black woman or a modern woman or a modern woman in particular at all now. So most men are still going to the DR, they going to Brazil, they going to all these different places still wanting to be with a black woman. He just want one who has a traditional mindset. He wants a black woman that will respect him. And on you know what gets me is this. When they say that black men are leaving to go date white women, date Asian women, and date um, only Latina, only Latina women. It gets me because it's like, you do realize that black isn't only just in the United States or Africa. You have black women in Colombia, Brazil, the Dominican Republic. You have black women in, in Thailand, black women in the Philippines. You have black women all over the place. Black isn't just in two to three locations in the world. They're all over the place. Mixed in. If not mixed in, pure. You can go to Brazil and get a curly-haired, long-haired black woman. You can go to Africa and get you a real African black woman. You can go to Colombia, get you a black woman in Colombia. There's plenty of black women in Colombia that speak Spanish. Plenty. And I'm talking about Afro-Colombians. You can find black women of all colors in all different countries. You go out to look, but for the majority of it, they're there. See, these men are leaving because of the culture and the mindset of a lot of women. Not just black, white, Latina. Every woman in the U.S., every woman in Canada, every woman in the U.K., Australia that is single, they're losing these men because they cannot keep their own foot out of their mouths. And they've lost the plot. Unfortunately, the American black man is not getting that from the black woman of today in the USA. Black women today have more than one child most times. At minimum, you may find a black woman who is unmarried with two children out of wedlock, two baby daddies, possibly three baby daddies now. And she's not going to be in shape. She expects you to always desire her, no matter how much weight she puts on. And you know, like I know, that's impossible. No man wants to be with a woman that is horribly out of shape. That's just, that's just the truth of it. Now you add the fact that you're out of shape with your unwillingness to cook, your unwillingness to clean, your unwillingness to be feminine. Nobody wants that. Now let's keep going. Overall in LA. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I think you are allowed to have whatever dating preferences you want. However, simultaneously, this is not the first black woman we've seen complaining that black men aren't dating black women. They're preferring non-black women. So if I were a black woman, I would want to know why exactly this is. I would want to sit down with some black men and ask them specifically, what is it about black women you're not as interested in? Or what is it about non-black women you are interested in? And maybe use it as some cause for self-reflection but all ma'am they already know the reasons why black men are done there's a whole black manosphere 
that they can get information from that they refuse to listen to. They know why black men are done. Their attitude, their unwillingness to cooperate, their mindset, them having all of these different kids. That is the reason why we're done. They know why. It ain't hard to figure out. You go on TikTok and you can see why black men are done. You ain't even got to listen to my motherfucking ass. You already know what's why they why they done. All I ever see these black women do talking about the issue is complaining about it and hating on black men for having preferences. There's going to be some musty back here from who's going to be mad because that woman who said that is not a black woman. But what that woman is saying is everything that the black men are saying right now. Why won't you listen to the black man if you're a black woman? If you're a modern woman of any ethnic group, see, I'm going to tell you something. Men of different ethnic groups, white, Latino, black, they are all dealing with the same thing that I'm talking about. It's just that in the black community, it seems to be worse. And if you want to have a man, you have to understand what that man wants. So instead of complaining about men choosing other women, like this woman said, why don't you ask those women, since you're not going to ask the man, ask those women how they are able to attract and keep a black man. If you're a black woman, you can put whatever race you are into whatever I'm saying right now, but I'm speaking to the black community. You ask these women who are white, who are Asian, who are of uh, Latin descent, ask them what they're doing. And I guarantee you, because I can tell you from experience, the majority of those women that are getting these type of men, they normally have a traditional mindset somewhere. They might not have a 100% traditional mindset, but it's enough to make a man attracted to their softness and to their femininity to the point where they want to be with them. Men want to feel safe just like women want to feel safe. Now, men are walking on eggshells around the modern woman. Men are scared to get married now, not because they have a lack of commitment towards a woman, but they are afraid of what the judge or what the judicial system would do to them in the event of a divorce. Men take the most risk now. And we and you can keep bragging about, oh, we got more businesses now. We're women. We buy more homes now. But you're still not having all the risk a majority of the time. And it has been for centuries. Eons. Men still make more money than you do. Men still have more power than you. Even in the workforce. Even if you had a supervisor position, I guarantee you there's a man running your business. We don't have too many businesses that are designed founded and completely ran by a woman so that's why you need to start studying your competition you need to start studying your counterparts and see what is it about them that makes men want them you don't want to do it because once you see something that they do that you too lazy to do you're going to condemn them for it she wants to cook girl it don't take all that i ain't nobody's mama your mama don't live here the other woman cleans. Oh, I ain't going to pick up off of you. You're a grown man. So everything that you see that these women are doing that the men are liking, you're going to condemn it because you're too lazy to do it. You're a re you're rebellious. You're stubborn. You don't want to make a man happy. And what's so funny about it, when you're a single woman or if you're a single woman with kids, you cook. Majority of the time, some of y'all, y'all cook, y'all clean the house if you're single or not. If you have a child, you still try to, if you're a good mama, you still cook for the kid and clean the house you get what I'm saying if the kid is a young child but when a man comes into that situation now you don't want to do it you want to withdraw all that I don't know y'all just are so traumatized y'all got things so ass backwards so when a man comes into your life you refuse to do those things that you are already doing you know why because you don't value men you're selfish you're not selfless you're selfish and uneducated about relationships. That's the problem. You know, at this point, they know that they are that they have nothing to offer anybody. They know this. 
it's not rocket science at this point. It's not rocket science at this point. Any advice they get that challenges their thought process and mindset, they automatically reject it. Because they don't want to change, they don't want to adapt. As a man, if you get married, you have to adapt to having a wife. But they refuse to adapt to you as a man. They want you to wait on them hand and foot while they give you just crumbs. But at this point, there's nothing that can be said anymore about it. Because Jeremy basically said it all. He said it all. There's nothing more I can add to this entire conversation. But... Let them tell it. They add more. Anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, inspire.com. I will see you guys on the flip side. If you guys want to support the podcast, goddamn, chat. You can send me a cash up at dollar sign skyrocket04 if you feel in the need to support. If any you need anything, email me and I will get back to you guys. And thank you guys for listening. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.